Costs, Revenue and Profit Fixed and Variable Costs Fixed costs, also called overheads, are those that do not vary with output and typically include rents, insurance, depreciation and initial setup costs. Variable costs, also called direct costs, are those that do vary with output and include raw materials and some labour costs. The costs shown here are for a firm making robotic manufacturing systems. Fixed costs are constant at £100,000. Its direct variable costs rise as output increases. Graphically, the fixed cost curve is a horizontal line. In contrast, the variable cost curve slopes up at an accelerating rate, reflecting the impact of the law of diminishing marginal returns. This means that, if we hold the fixed factors constant and progressively add more variable factors, initially the marginal output, or product, increases because variable factors, including labour, can be put to more specialist uses. Eventually, however, the gains from specialisation decline as more variable factors are added. As they lose their marginal productivity, the cost per unit of hiring them increases. Total costs are found by adding fixed and variable costs. The position of the total cost curve reflects the amount of fixed costs and its gradient reflects variable costs. Average fixed costs, which are found by dividing total fixed costs by output, fall continuously with output. Average variable costs are found by dividing total variable costs by output. Its curve will at first slope down, reach a minimum point and then rise, reflecting the onset of diminishing marginal returns. Average costs are found by dividing total cost by output. Its curve is typically U-shaped. Average costs are significant because they indicate how efficiently resources are being used. When they are at their minimum, the firm is said to be productively efficient. Graphically, total costs can be shown as the area under the average cost curve. Marginal cost, which is derived solely from variable costs, is the cost of producing one unit of output and is found by finding the change in total cost when one more unit is produced. The marginal cost curve falls briefly at first, then rises, reflecting the effect of diminishing marginal returns. It will cut average cost from below and will be minimised at that point. When marginal cost is below average cost, average cost will be falling, and when it is above average cost, average cost will be rising. The marginal cost curve is significant because a firm's decision to supply is taken at the margin. Hence, the marginal cost curve is the firm's supply curve. Revenue provides income to pay for production costs and derive a profit. Total revenue is found by multiplying price by the quantity sold. Average revenue is found by dividing total revenue by the quantity sold and is equivalent to the price of the product. Average revenue equals price times quantity Q divided by Q, which gives price P when the Qs are cross-cancelled in the equation. Marginal revenue is the revenue generated from selling one extra unit of a good or service. Assuming P and Q are inversely related, initially total revenue increases with output, but at a decreasing rate, eventually reaching a maximum and then decreasing to become negative. As output increases, both the average and marginal revenue curve slopes downwards, but the marginal slopes down at twice the rate of the average. Total revenue is maximised when marginal revenue is zero. Profits are maximised at the output where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. At this point, marginal profits will have reached zero. Graphically, supernormal profits exist when the area of total revenue is greater than the area of total cost. Using the total cost and revenue curves, profits are maximised where the gap between them is the greatest. Profits can increase either when revenue increases or when costs fall. If fixed costs fall, the average cost curve falls, and when marginal costs fall, both cost curves will fall. 
Finally, a firm will shut down when revenue drops below average variable cost and will break even when revenue covers all average costs. Hence, a knowledge of costs and revenue is an essential starting point for understanding the behavior of firms as they try to maximize profits. To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk.